Okay, so we've got our easy reticulation controller mounted in here with double-sided tape inside of our existing Rainbird controller. And the beauty is we don't have to have a transformer because there's one built into this or connected to this already. Um, it's actually up in the roof, this controller. The um, first thing we're going to do is connect the 24 volts AC, which is these two here, the first two terminals. Now, typically AC voltage does not have a polarity, of course, um, because it's alternating. But in, in this case, we have to make sure that the two, the commons on here, on this old one, and the common on the, on the new one, go to the same side of the transformer. If it doesn't, then we'll end up with a short when we try to put it in parallel. So we're just going to put it in anyway, and I'll show you how to test it to make sure it's the correct way. And if it's not the correct way, all we need to do is just swap, swap around. So um, we just have to make sure we don't short anything out. Um, 24 volts AC, of course, is, is not dangerous to us as a person. It's um, just low voltage, so um, that's no problem there. But we do have to want to make sure we don't touch anything together that's um, um, connected, otherwise it might blow a fuse or something. But um, we've got it connected now. We've got um, the power light on here. We've got the flashing light saying it's not connected to Home Assistant yet. Uh, so at this stage, you could actually um, connect this to your Wi-Fi network and you could get it connected to Home Assistant as well. But now we're going to see if we've got it around the right way. So we've got our multimeter. And the multimeter is on the AC voltage range. And if you have a, a voltage range, it's not auto ranging, then um, it's going to be 27 volts that we're looking for on AC. Make sure you don't have it on DC. We'll take our meter probes and we'll check between the common, which is the third terminal on the new one, and the common on our old one. So here we've got com. Sometimes it'll say C, just C for common, and we will see what voltage we have. All right, so we've got 27 volts there. That means it's the wrong way around. And we'd want to see basically zero volts or close to zero. And if it was close to zero, then we'll be fine to go ahead and put it in parallel. But because it's the wrong way around, I'm just going to swap these two wires around just here. OK, now we swap them around. Uh, we can check to see if we've got it correct. So we've got our meter once again on AC. And we're going to go from common to common. And we can see there we've got zero. That means it's good to, we can go ahead and link all these up. Um, now you'll see on this particular one here, we've got four stations, one, two, three, four. And the main valve, MV, or sometimes it's um, the pump, if it turns on a pump or just M for main, um, has nothing. So there's no main on this system. So the um, fourth terminal here, which is typically the main, we have no wire um, going to. But if there was something there, we'd run another wire from here into the main. But we've only got the four stations. And, and if you do have a setup like this, you can in fact just use this to control five stations without a main. Um, but you just have to change the YAML that it comes with, the default YAML. Okay, so what we're going to do is connect up the common. And we're going to connect up all four of our stations in parallel with the existing ones. Okay, so they're all connected in parallel, stations one to four. No, we don't have a main and the commons connected. So now I'm just going to head off and I'm going to connect up my controller to Home Assistant and then we can come back and try it out. So we've got our, our reticulation controller connected to Home Assistant. As you can see, the status light has stopped flashing. Um, and we've got um, Home Assistant up here on my phone and I've got station one ready to go. So I'm going to turn that on now. So as you can hear, that, that station has just started up behind me. Um, now if I turn this off, and we can also use this controller here to, on manual on station one to manually start it. So that can start it too as well. Um, so we've got that all wired up in parallel now. So we can control it via Wi-Fi inside with Home Assistant. Or if we're outside in the garden, we can also use this controller um, to quickly turn on a station. Now, um, if we turn on this as well, you'll see that basically it'll just do nothing. Um, if we turn this off, this will keep running. And then we'll turn this one off and it will, that station will stop. Um, of course, if you didn't want to have this anymore, you could easily take all these stations and put it straight under here, and then this would just be not in use anymore. So you could do it that way as well. Um, but that's how you install it in parallel.